Alright, alright, alright. Welcome in everybody. Grab your seats, grab your beverages, and uh, get ready for a nice little adventure called Aliens Dark Descent. Now, as you can probably guess by the main menu, we're taking a shore right into the Aliens universe with you know the Xenomorphs and all of that jazz, Wayland Yutani, all the good stuff. I'm a very big fan, I'm a sucker for that entire world. Been loving it to bits. Probably Aliens vs Predator, that was oh, my bread and butter game. I don't know how many times I beat it as a child. <laughs> um, and I'm also a pretty big fan of tactical sh games, and this is very much so a tactical strategy game. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's hop right in. We've, uh. Or, yeah, I'm probably gonna keep these just as the game kind of suggests them to be, so the initial playthrough is going to be medium, and let's get right in. Please be mindful of docking bay protocol at all times. Wayland Utah, building better world. It's always gonna be the humans, eh? Mess everything up. 
Aliens got their work bloody already been done for them, eh? Any news from Lisi Hayes? Sorry, sir. We're having a hard time reaching anyone. That storm probably... Damn. Must be one hell of a hurricane to cut us from the whole planet. Chief Administrator, I'm showing a weight discrepancy on the Bentonville's manifest. They just asked for a takeoff accreditation, but half the shipment is still at dock. Half, you say? Well, we just earned a bonus. I'll allow them to take off right away. Protocol dictates... How many times? Company protocol doesn't mean anything out here. What works, works. And we're already behind schedule. Director Price... Isn't here. And if I do recall correctly, Deputy Administrator Hayes, your shift ended half an hour ago. So get the hell off my command deck and let me do my job. I don't care what McDonald says, something is wrong here. I can monitor the cargo bay camera's security feed just as well from my office. Damn. What a guy. <laughs> okay, camera controls. You can actually zoom out a lot, to be honest. Okay, reach your office to check the camera feed for cargo bay 4. That is the Secondary objective can be completed to recover hidden resources and additional information above about the location. Objectives are indicated at the top left of your screen. Here is an objective on. Okay. On. Uh, a bit early for me, so reading is going to be difficult. Okay. With right click, easy enough. Doors with green lights will open automatically when the character approaches them. Move. You look troubled, Administrator. Is there anything I can do to help? Thank you, Daniel. But no. I'm just having one of those days, you know? Another argument with Administrator McDonald. How did you guess? I may be synthetic, but I'm not blind. Are you sure I can't be of assistance? No. It's my problem, and I'll take care of it. I just need to reach my office. Of course. But I'm afraid this corridor is closed due to maintenance. You'll need to detour through the cafeteria. Ugh. Synthetics have always been creepy, man. They always just give a kind of bad juju vibe. I heard no one's picking up on the planet. Not even Jackson's Landing. Really? I have a friend there. I hope he's okay. These bloody storms, man. All right. Cafeteria. Don't often see you in here, Administrator Hayes. Are you lost? Do you need me to show you to your room? Last I checked, you couldn't find your own ass with both hands. I'll pass. Seeing a side door here, but I have a feeling like we're gonna come back to it. Maybe. But for now, we'll just keep moving. Supply shuttle Bentonville secure for launch. All crews, this is your two minute warning. Shit. Let's Need see. to hurry. Oh. Okay. Oh, I wanna spring. Office, check the cameras. Select the track environment. When selected, the interactive element may offer various interaction options. Select computer interaction. Yeah. Welcome, Administrator Hayes.
Just another What's Thursday evening, eh? I'll have to take a closer look. <laughs> okay, reach the elevator. It is all the way over here. Nice and sure, just run all the way through. So long as I'm assuming we've been through here before. Yeah, can't set commands much further than my uh, previous moments. Where's Chief Durant? Settling the labor dispute on a rally. Then you'll have to do. Gather a security team and come with me. <laughs> Not a chance. McDonald just linked in. Told us you'd be stirring up trouble. Again. I ain't getting involved. Take it up with him. Thanks for nothing. Also, I, uh, I have to mention that I'm a bit ill. So if you hear an occasional sniffle or something, I apologize. But I'm uh, doing my best out here. Okay, off to the docking bay. Oh, it tells us mission completion, 12% total break. Before, before. What is the quickest way there? Turn the map with them. Sounds easy enough. Mako's location is displayed along with her detection range and camera angle. Left of the map screen, all of the mission's active objectives are displayed. The current objective can be selected by pressing left click on it in the objectives list or by directly selecting an objective on the map. Oh, I'm not allowed to do either or. Okay, awesome. On the top right of the map screen, all the floors that make up a location are displayed. The floor that you wish to display can be selected by again left clicking on the floor icon. Okay. Map goes. Select the back button. Where's the map? Those fucking storage hoppers in Baytree are so fucking jammed. What a maintenance plane at. Texas <laughs> holding last I checked. Don't expect anything done today. Just salt. Supply shuttle Bentonville is cleared for launch. Remember. All unauthorized breaks taken by non-officer grades will automatically be deducted from leave allowance. Alright. Clear the door and then turn right. <laughs> Help <laughs> me. Hold on. You're, you're going to be alright. Cargo. Hey. Things came out of. Stay with me. Stay. God damn it. I'm just together. running in here. You need to see this Without a gun. <laughs> Makes sense. Oh, Better mind. take his pistol. Pick up a gun. No, whatever's in there doesn't know I can't aim for shit. I can look around by pressing left click to control my flashlight. Light up dark areas. That's the Benton though. They holding in these things. Too late for this station. Shit. There's something in here. Get out of here, Michael. Uh, I can't leave the thing running loose. I need to lock this damn door. 
There's a welder back there. Time to get it sealed up. Whatever that thing is, can't chew its way through a door. Get it together, Michael. Oh. Hell out of here, girl. Oh, no. Interact with doors. Welding a door prevents enemies from passing through until they have breached it. Welding a door consumes one tool. We have a tool up here. How convenient. Could it be because we just took it off the body? I thought what I told you. What the hell was aboard the Bensonville? What are you talking about? The dock crew and Cargo Bay 4 are dead. Dead? That's not funny. Something got loose and killed. <gasps> Power failure. Power failure. Engaging emergency generators. What just happened? I need to get to security. Ah! Oh. Take a security. What the hell is happening? Everyone's dying in there. The Bensonville. I can't let that happen. You have to find your safety. Please respond. What's going on over there? Otago? The Colonial Marines. USS Otago. This is Administrator Hayes. There's some kind of infestation aboard. Otago, you have to intercept the Bensonville before it leaves the system. Can you hear me, Otago? Please copy. Damn it! Comms are down. I can't fix him from here. I need to get to the comms room. Right, I reach the comms room to join the Otago. Um, out back through the main door. Lewis, are you in there? I need access to the comms room. Lewis, answer me, damn it! Go away! You're drawn right to us! Open the damn door! No way! It's staying locked to keep those things out! You think that'll help? They're in the vents. Vents? <laughs> Shit! Lewis! Lewis! Yikes. Alert. Alert. Station integrity compromised. Uh, yeah, go around. <laughs> Manning? It's out there. It's waiting for me. Manning, you can't stay here. No, no. 
I can't see me. Go away. Go away. Okay. Just keep your head down, right? He is not long for this world. Daniel, you all right? Deputy Administrator, it appears that these creatures have destroyed our communication system. Why would they do that? They're, they're animals. Sorry, I have no idea. I wish I could help you further. Shit, the Bentonville. I need to stop that ship. Daniel, our planetary quarantine protocols. They're still operational, aren't they? I do believe so, Deputy Administrator. What do I do? Those things have to come from the planet. If even one gets off-world... Oh. No, there's no choice. I can stop them. Deputy Administrator, you're only following the Wayland yutani containment procedures. The Cerberus Protocol was specifically designed for a situation like this. What you're doing is only right. Right. Yes. There is only one solution left. A Cerberus Protocol. Oh dear. Ooh. Space. And a big drop. Warning, three ships detected. USS Otago, Bentonville, Baldwin. Will be caught in the high orbit interdiction radius. Please confirm command. I am so sorry. Cerberus protocol activated. Purging contaminant vectors. Stand by, stand by. Engaging targets.
Oh, you gotta love the alien hiss. Right, enemy detection. When your squad encounters an enemy while undetected, the enemy will not detect your squad immediately. The detection delay is represented by a yellow line that goes from the enemy to one of your squad members. This line will gradually fill up with red, and when it is completely full, the squad will be detected. So, the yellow line here stood. And avoid being spotted by hiding behind cover. Cover spots are indicated with a small green square on the floor near your cursor. That's all of these. Right. And over to cover. When behind cover, you can hide to avoid being detected by using Thing that I can see it constantly. Get spotted, I'm running. Oh, oh. why not? <laughs> uh, dang. Wrong way. Don't see me. Oh. Be me close. Okay, just, just, just run. Sergeant Harper, USCM. You? Hey, uh, Dep Deputy Administrator. You're from the Otago? Yeah. What the hell was that thing? It was... Everyone's dead. It was on one of the cargo shuttles. All right, people. We're falling back to the dropship. Hunslet, we're rolling to you. Copy. Okay. From now on... A marine squad will be controlled as a single entity. When you order the squad to perform a task, a marine from the squad will be automatically assigned to carry it out. Sounds easy enough. Or the elevator. Cerberus protocol in effect. What the fuck is a Cerberus protocol? No clue. Just keep it moving and watch those corners. It's planetary quarantine. Nothing in, nothing out. Sounds like a real party. Rolling, keep it rolling. The fires. Ah, yeah, if you try and click outside of fog of war. <clears throat> you okay, Sarge? Eyes ahead. Something's coming. How Harper? does he know? We've got movement. The hell? Psychic? Tracker indicates any moving entities within a 60 meter radius with a white dot. Down over here. Alright, 
it's a toggle. But it's a toggle to crouch. Is nice. I was trying to hold it. Ah yes, let the lady that can't use a pistol take point. <laughs> Makes sense. Manning? Where are you going? It's not safe here! It's not! Damn straight, but we'll get you out. No, you don't understand! It's here! It's here! <laughs> Light it up! Marines are trained to automatically open fire on enemies when detected. Marines will open fire even when walking. When running, however, Marines can't use any of their weapons. Eyes up! That thing's still out there! Uh, rest in peace, Manning. Take him out! Use a grenade! The Marines have access to skills that will help them deal with various threats. You can op open the skill menu by Grenade launcher. A. So, a grenade launcher that does 10 to 20 damage on the inner blast, 6 to 10 on the outer. Assumes a command point. So we have command points here that are a special resource, and the quantity depends on squad leader's attributes. Regenerate slowly over time and allows to perform uncommon actions. Oh, we also have four tools now and 27 ammo clips. So the whole squad shares and uses ammo clips for their primary weapons. Each Marine brings two clips, one loaded and one in the inventory. I'm sure, that'll be enough. Fight off the aliens, eh? Alright. Yeah. bastards, ain't they? Command points are a resource that can be spent in order to use skills. Command points are refilled over time until the maximum capacity is reached. You'll be able to raise this maximum later by upgrading your marines. Sounds good. Let's keep rolling. We need that elevator! Punch it! Set for suppressing fire and check your targets! Right, skill menu, suppressive fire. Covers a selected area. Within this area, enemies move at 70% of their initial speed. The Marines' firing rate is doubled, but as a counterpart, their accuracy is reduced by negative 20 points. It needs to be manually cancelled to end. And that they cannot run. Getting closer! Closer! Wait for my order. Steady. Steady. David. Daniel. Daniel. Yeah. Daniel, <laughs> is that you? Administrator Hayes, where are you going? We're getting to safety, Daniel. Please, come with us. I'm afraid I can't permit that. Severus protocols are in effect. I know, but we can't stay. It's not safe. The protocols are clear. Nothing in, nothing out. I'm sorry, Administrator Hayes. Stand down! Bring it down! What the hell was that? I... I don't know. I've never even heard Daniel raise his voice. Since, man. Creepy little fuckers. Couldn't agree more. Uh, off to the docking bay. Okay. It's just gonna take two seconds here to up the video a little bit. Turn on the music. Because it's a bit better now. Okay. Let's keep moving. Hey! What a mess! Fuck! Incoming! Ah! Hold still, I'm... Oh no. What? It's blood is... Some kind of acid. Fuck! What kind of blood type is that? Keep your distance, Marines! Latimer, you fit to move? I'm... Not dying here. Alright. Let's get off this damn station. 
a xenomorph dies, there is a chance that it might explode into an acid burst, causing one damage to any nearby marines. Your marines can walk and shoot at the same time, so keep moving in the opposite direction of the xenomorphs that are coming at you. Okay. Let's keep walking. We need a lot mobile ASAP. Yeah. I'll break open the med kit. Limping. Right, each marine has their own health bar. This health bar is composed of the following. Life, represented by health points, and armor, represented by white armor points. So yeah, health, armor on top, easy enough. When a marine's health drops to zero, they will either they will end up either in a critical condition or dead. A light wound will be applied to any marine whose health drops to two health points, like Latimer here, two health points, and the marine has a wounded leg which applies a movement speed penalty. Light wound effects are described in the codex. So the marine can't run and the movement speed is reduced by 30%. This wound can be healed by using the first aid interaction option. Understood. Situate a marine to open the interaction menu for them. You can heal a wounded marine using the first aid interaction option. A marine will go over to your marine and perform the first aid interaction. However, it consumes a unit of medical supplies. Medical supplies. Med kits, pills, stim packs, and everything related to medical treatment. Awesome. Shit! Ugh. Ah! Ruiz, you're making it worse! Mish, don't be such a baby. There you go. You ain't pretty, yeah, nice. but that ship sailed long ago. Gee, thanks! <laughs> <laughs> nice. The, uh... Health is back to full, but no armor region, which makes sense. Keep moving fast. Shit, they're in the wall! God. The two close switch to sidearms. Shotgun! Oh yeah, your marines have access to skills that will help them deal with various threats. So like shotgun blast. First marine with a shotgun fires a shotgun blast that deals damage in a short area. Ten to twenty short, it's five to ten medium. Uh -huh. When it like which is over based on where I want to blast. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Switch the side on. Those things are handy for it's... close encounters. Yeah, I wonder if I have like unlimited ammo with the shotgun because it, it costs a command point. But it didn't have ammo, I don't think. I see, costs just a command point. Interesting. Mess. Oh, guys. <clears throat> Hell of a time for a migraine. Seriously, Sarge? What's up with you? Move! No! We're in danger! I don't like this. What's up with his head. Ah! Sergeant Harper, pull it together! We have to leave! Yeah, yeah, I heard you! Corporal Hunslet, get your ass down here! Hot evac! All right, all right. Air Hunslet inbound. Have your boarding passes ready. Sometimes time for you to use everything you've learned in order to survive. Order a marine to lay suppressive fire. Probably at the door. So, I think this little line that I placed down is the point at which he's always gonna fix... Well, he or she actually Shit! fix Reading the, uh, suppression. Shit! Closing fast! How many of those things Two. are there? Too many! Uh, two we have to go! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold your position, yes. Marines! Well, don't worry, Hunslet. There's no rush. It's not like we're all gonna die! Either slow mo or pause the game. This will give you time to use skills like grenade launcher or the shotgun blast with greater ease and precision. You can switch between slow mo and pause at any time in the gameplay tab of the options menu. Okay. Alright. Granada!
Would you look at that? Hell, she's taking a pounding. Otago, this is Harper. Do you copy? Hansel, can you get us aboard? <laughs> no way, Sarge. Between the debris and the decaying orbit? Death trap. Hey, damn it. At least those platforms are leaving us alone. They're designed for planetary quarantine. But Lethe has to remain operational. Low orbit is considered safe, but beyond that, it's, it's a dead zone. Cerberus will shut down everything attempting to go through in both directions. Cerberus, huh? You seem to know a lot about it. I know everything about it. I'm Pioneer Station. That's my job. Yeah, you know why I decided to turn the Otago into scrap metal? I... I don't know. Systems failure, maybe? You saw the state of the station. Shit, there she goes. Fuck, follow her down, Hunslet. No problem. Fireball like that's hard to miss. Say they stuck the landing. Command deck is where the USS Otago can be managed from here. Launch missions and view a summary of everything that's happening inside the ship. Welcome home, Harper. You like what I've done with the place? Martinez! It's good to see you, Sarge. Sergeant Martinez, is it? Is your communication system working? It's online, but we're only picking up static. These colonies sure have a relay problem. But who's asking? Meet Deputy Administrator Hayes from Pioneer. Where's Captain Cochran? There's shit going down on that station like you wouldn't believe. Gone. The whole command staff's gone. You're it. Me? Ah, uh, you made sergeant before I did. You've got seniority. Yeah, sure, but these are the captain's orders, as in the deathbed kind. So this shit's all yours, he insisted. If you want me, I'll be in the armory, seeing what survived the crash. Yeah, do that. I have a feeling we're gonna need it. Hayes, you better come with me. Ah, damn. What do we do now? We don't know what is happening on the surface of this planet. McDonald's, my boss, he sure didn't. We have to get in contact with someone if we hope to get out of this mess. I hate to rain on your parade, but the Otago shit housed. Even if it wasn't, how do we get out past those Cerberus platforms? Well, they'll stop a ship, but not a signal. If we create our own relay, perhaps we could broadcast from low orbit, just in case a ship passes by. You want to create a sort of satellite? We're not a pirate radio station, Deputy Administrator. Or we could contact Pharaoh Spire. Director Price needs to- You heard, to Martinez. The relays on this rock could be down for good. You want to send a message? Get out and start walking already. There has to be something we can do. Maybe there is. But I'm not seeing it. So you're gonna sit here and do nothing? Like hell. After what happened up there, regs are clear. We're on an alert footing. There could be a hostile biomorph loose on Lethe. So we've got civvies in danger and no way to contact them, right? What about Otago's short-range frequency receiver? Yeah, that could work. For now. That doesn't solve our broadcasting problem. We have to you warn the people. You find a way we can do that, then maybe, maybe we can talk about making that happen. Until then, we save everyone we can. We're Marines. That's the job. You want to help? Get familiar with this ship. What's left of it, anyway. Sir, yes, sir. You are now on the USS Otago.
Yotago crashed after the activation of the Cerberus protocol that we chose to lie about. It will be used as an operational base for your marines between each deployment. Stud. Head off Have a nice day, Deputy Administrator Hayes. I'm Administrator Hayes, I know. I don't want to seem unwelcoming, but I don't really have time to talk right now. A lot of marines are hurting, half my orderlies are dead, and the medbay's being held together with bailing tape. How many casualties are we looking at? Between the platforms and the crash? At 20. And that'll double before the day's out. There's another 10 unaccounted for in Hangar Bay 3, but the doors are decompression sealed, so we know how that'll go. It'll get worse still if I don't get back to it, so if you'll excuse me. Yes, sorry. Sorry. Wounded Marines recover in the med bay. A wounded Marine can't be redeployed until they have fully recovered from their wounds. Select Wounded Marine McDonald. You can assign a physician to a wounded Marine to speed up the healing process. For each physician assigned to a wounded soldier, the recovery period is reduced by one day. Awesome. Yeah. This one's a priority. Understood. Okay. Meet with the chief engineer in the workshop. Talk to you soon. Hey, new girl. Sorry, but I'm pretty busy right now. Crash buckled half the support bulkheads. That's all I can do to stop this place caving in. All right, I'll let you get on. Thanks. Like Need a gun, administrator? To really Once functional again, the workshop will allow you to unlock weapons for your marines. Weapons provide specific skills and increase damage done. Understood. We have pulse rifles, smart guns, heavy pulse rifles. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's pretty good. Revolvers. Some machine guns. All right. Pretty good. Dismemberment chances. Reloads. Oh, incinerators! It's gonna be awesome. Sniper rifles, RPGs. Oh yeah. Need a gun, uh, administrator. Look forward to that. All right, off to the lab. Bye bye now. Administrator Hayes, I can't tell you how glad I am to see another Wayland Utani face aboard. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Doctor Becker. The company assigned me to the ship in order to oversee trials of a new cryo sleep routine. But I can't see that happening now. Look at the state of my lab. Months of vital research gone. If I at least had power, I could salvage the backups. But these brutes keep ignoring me. Perhaps you could... Sorry, Doctor, but they're not exactly friendly to me either. It's not about friendly. Who holds higher authority? Wayland Yutani executive or your typical marine? Where does half the USCM's funding come from? Who provides their weapons? Hmm? You might want to push them. I'm sure they'll back down. Thank you, Doctor. You've given me a lot to think about. Well, of course I have. Deputy Administrator Hayes to the bridge. Hayes, please report to the bridge. Have a nice day, Administrator. All right. This is what the short-range frequency receiver picked up. It's a distress message from a nearby colony. This is Jarkism. I don't come to this. They, they're killing everyone. We need help. No, fire two coffee. Oh, no. You thinking what I'm thinking? We have to go there. See for ourselves. What? I feel for those people, but we're blind here. If we're to save anyone, we need proper comms. We got them. The Otago, Hunslet's dropship, our vehicles, my marines, they all speak the same language. Courtesy of the USCM comm system. That's not what it's I meant. It's a military decision, Hayes, which means it's my decision. Those folks need help. Fine. What do you need from me? Well, normally I'd lay the squad and an officer would run oversight. You know, intel, tactical, from the ARC, our armored recon carrier. I can do that. But I need you to handle the rest from here on the Otago. Oh? I thought I wasn't military. Don't I know it. Listen. If I'm gonna keep my people alive, 
I need someone with smarts for when mine falls short. If it helps, this ain't exactly what I signed on for either. Welcome to the Colonial Marines. <laughs> Do raw? <laughs> right. You can access the deployment panel from the command deck. We have a singular deployment left. Operations ready in the following areas. This is a representation of the planet Leith. All, pla all available missions will be displayed on this panel. The Dead Hills Colony. Investigate the Dead Hills Colony and search for survivors. 14 primary objectives, 19 data pads, 300 materials, and 2 bits of Xenotech. Interesting. Okay. Once you've selected a mission, the information panel displays the following information about the location. Primary objectives, number of data pads, number of materials, number of xenotech. Just check that out, Blossom. Understood. Let's build the squad. Uploading mission data. Right, we have a conspirator, Smith, uh, McDonald, Coward, Sharp, who's just bad luck, and Webb, who's clumsy. Yep, sounds like the perfect marines for the job. For this first mission, management options are locked. Brilliant. Later, you will be able to select the marines who will be sent on the mission and modify their equipment from this screen. It seems like they all have the same stuff. Cannot even check advanced info. Alright, select inventory. When departing for a mission, your squad can pick different materials. Medical supplies can be used to heal marines and relieve their stresses. Tools are necessary for welding doors and other technical interaction options. Right. Uh, top left, I have 50. So I guess I'll just go 2-2. Two, two. Oh, I'm not even allowed to change anymore. Okay, your squad is ready for mission. Let's launch. Marines, listen up. I know we're hurting, but we got us a go mission. We pulled in a partial signal from the settlement of Dead Hills. We don't know exactly what's happening there, but after what we've seen on Pioneer, we can't take any risks. We'll start by securing the landing control zone. From there, we'll take a look around, see what's going on. Keep your eyes open for survivors. Be ready for a firefight. Even a bad day can get worse. suck in their own Perhaps respective way. Yeah, we should get moved. But alright, I think I'm probably going to call it there just because I'm conscious that this video is almost an hour long. But uh, I'd say we've kind of played through the tutorial uh, before we hop into the first mission. Some initial thoughts. Definitely definitely feels good. Uh, I'm still going to need to adjust the audio a little bit. But yeah, for the most, for the most part, we're looking good. I, I really like the Stay fact that we get to actually hide, and there's some kind of, you know, detection system. It's not just always gun blazing, so 
yeah. That's that's definitely gonna be very fun and enjoyable to play with. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one where we enter whatever is through door number one. Peace out.